English for teachers. Presentation 7. A presentation on the Independence Day of Bangladesh. Good morning, respected chief guest, honorable principal, dear students, and esteemed colleagues. I am Muhammad Yasir, your presenter for today. Feeling honored to stand before you on this auspicious occasion of celebrating the Independence Day of Bangladesh. This day, the 26th of March, holds immense significance in our hearts as we commemorate the sacrifices of our ancestors and freedom fighters who paved the way for a sovereign nation. Today, we gather here to pay tribute to the bravery and resilience of our forefathers who dared to dream of a free nation, free from the shackles of oppression. Our history reveals how unity and unwavering determination led us towards independence. The words of Bongo Bandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, our beloved father of the nation, echo in our hearts. The struggle this time is the struggle for our emancipation. The struggle this time is the struggle for our independence. <coughs> With the bloodshed and sacrifices of countless souls, Bangladesh emerged as an independent nation in 1971. We learned that freedom comes at a cost and we must never take it for granted. As young minds, it is essential to remember this story and let it inspire us to become responsible citizens who uphold the values of justice, equality and patriotism. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, let us embrace our glorious history and learn from it. As Rabindranath Thakur, the great poet and philosopher, once said, the highest education is that which does not merely give us information, but makes our life in harmony with all existence. Let this day be a reminder that we have a collective responsibility to build a brighter future for our beloved Bangladesh. So dear students and parents, let us stand together, united in our diversity, and work towards a prosperous nation, respecting each other's differences and contributing to the growth of our motherland. As we celebrate this Independence Day, let us renew our commitment to cherish and safeguard our freedom, striving for a better tomorrow. Thank you for your attention and let us march forward with the spirit of unity, progress and love for our country. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabandhu. Presentation number 8, a motivational speech on the SSC exam result publishing day. Ladies and gentlemen, students and esteemed colleagues, a warm welcome to each one of you gathered here today. I stand before you as a teacher, honored to address you on this momentous occasion, the SSC exam result publishing day. Allow me to extend my gratitude to Chief Guest, the Headmaster or Principal of this prestigious institution for gracing us with his presence. Today, my dear students, we come together to celebrate your hard work, dedication and resilience throughout your academic journey. As Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, the only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. These words encapsulate the essence of this momentous day. 
each one of you has the power to determine your own destiny i stand here today to remind you that success is not merely measured by the marks on your report card it is the amalgam amalgamation of your efforts your perseverance and your unwavering belief in yourself as helen keller once said character cannot be developed in ease and quiet only through experience of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened ambition inspired and success achieved i implore you my dear students to embrace both success and failure for they are intertwined in the tapestry of life your results today are not the end but the stepping stone towards a brighter future learn from your mistakes for they are catalysts for growth rise above the challenges for they are building blocks of success remember as albert einstein wisely stated failure is a success in progress in conclusion let us take a moment to reflect on the lessons learned and the and the experiences gained throughout this journey the result you see today is a testament to your hard work and determination embrace it with gratitude and humility as you move forward never lose sight of your dreams and aspirations success is not an event it is a continuous journey for self development and perseverance in the words of walt disney all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them to the parents and teachers present today i extend my heartfelt appreciation for your unwavering support and guidance together let us foster and let us foster an environment where dreams can flourish and accomplishments can be celebrated may this day serve as a reminder that success is not confined to a single exam but is found in the relentless pursuit of knowledge and personal growth remember my dear students your potential knows no bounds believe in yourself and let your brilliance shine through thank you and may you all be blessed with a bright and prosperous future our motivational speech on how to be a good learner in this 21st century where ai robots dominate everything good morning everyone ladies and gentlemen esteemed chief guests and respected headmaster it is an honor to stand before you today as you gather to discuss an important topic how to be a good learner in the 21st century where ai and robots dominate everything my name is mohammad yasir and i am privileged to be addressing this distinguished audience comprising our wonderful students devoted teachers and supportive parents in this fast paced era of technological achievements the key to success lies in our ability to adapt and excel as learners we must embrace the challenging let me repeat we must embrace the changing landscape and develop skills that complement artificial intelligence rather than competing against it albert einstein once said education is not the learning of facts but the training of the mind to think we must cultivate a growth mindset and harness the power of critical thinking creativity and collaboration to be a good learner we must be proactive and take responsibility of our own learning it is a vital to set clear goals it is vital to set clear goals manage our time efficiently and seek knowledge beyond the traditional classroom as helen killer wisely noted a well educated mind will always have more questions 
than answers. Therefore, we should never shy away from asking questions, seeking guidance and exploring new horizons. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, let us remember that the true measure of success lies not in how much you know, but in our ability to adapt, learn and grow. As we navigate this ever-evolving world, let us embrace the challenges and opportunities that AI and robots bring. Together, we can build a future where human ingenuity thrives alongside technological advancements. Thank you all for your attention and let us embark on this journey of lifelong learning, empowered by knowledge, curiosity and resilience. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.